My name is Deontay O'Neill. I would like I would like for y'all to welcome Project Search 2022 graduation. Out of all respects for everyone, would you all please take away your cell phones? Thank you, Deontay. Project Search is a program that helps students transition from school to the workforce. Each intern has worked very hard this year and has gained many skills. Each intern has worked with a skilled mentor to learn work tasks. We have remained in contact with the schools and Fink and have gained tremendous support. We would like to personally thank Dow for being our host business and providing this ceremony this evening. The interns who will be graduating tonight are Melody Ayers, Damon Corbett, Sierra Rowan, Kai Smith, Chance Swanson, Deontay O'Neill, and Gabe Birich. We have grown in many ways. We have become a team. We have made mistakes together. We have learned together. The world is waiting for us, and we are going to do many great things. A big thank you to Nick Powell for our, our plant manager for making tonight possible. Nick believes in this program and makes time to meet with us and attend functions to support and advocate for us. Thank you, thank you uh, to Jennifer Bowling. She is the Dow liaison for Project Search. She has helped us find mentors. She has helped us work hard and advocates for us. We know that Jennifer is always there when we needed her. She has always has a smile on her face. A special thank you to our instructor, Brandy Bodner, and our skills trainer, Michael Radford, for teaching, mentoring, and believing in us. We even appreciate the lectures and stern looks. <laughs> thank you for helping us find amazing jobs. We will not let you down. Thank you to our wonderful families. Thank you to our mentors. Thank you to the school systems. Thank you to Fink Supporting Living and Voc Rehab. None of this will be possible without y'all. I would like to introduce tonight's guest speaker, Jessica Smith. Jessica is an external manufacturing operations manager with Dow. She has facilitated projects for the interns, which allowed us to build skills and confidence. Just Jessica is a motivator and an advocate for our program. Please welcome Jessica. So I'm both honored and very humbled to be speaking in front of you today. You have all worked so hard to get to this point, and I'm excited to be able to share in this special night with you. As I reflect back on my own graduations, I can empathize that the road leading here was not always easy. <clears throat> Your individual journeys had their ups and downs, their laughter and their tears. But my sincere hope is that as you reflect back, you feel that it was all worth it. No successful journey is ever free of frustration, misdirection, or mistakes. Your amazing mentors have surely taught you that. Take a moment to reflect on who you were when you walked into Dow on day one. You were nervous, anxious, shy, kind of like I am right now. No. <laughs> but look at you now as you walk out these doors tonight. You are confident, energized, and proud. Although I did not work day in and day out with you, I did witness and hear about your individual transformations throughout the year. I want to share with you some of those comments that I gathered from your mentors because they speak to your growth, your personalities, and the hard work that you put into this program. I am honored to be able to share these reflections with you and your families and friends today. So please stand as I say your name. Chance. The resounding theme for you is that you like to work. Your mentor said you were always respectful, asked excellent questions, and completed your work thoroughly. They love that you are always eager for more tasks. We also quickly realized that the way to your heart is through a candy bowl. <laughs> we're happy that we don't have to say goodbye to you, and we would like to wish you all the best as you join the Dow, Dow Logistics team. Congratulations, Chance.
Kai. What I learned about you from your mentors is that you are honest, reserved, and a quick learner. I was told you were quiet until your rotation in the color lab where they basically pestered you with questions until you finally cracked. <laughs> Their favorite memory is the day you brought in your sketch pad and showed them your amazing drawings. We wish you all the best in your next job at Shoney's. Congratulations, Kai. Sierra. The opposite of quiet Kai. Your talkative personality and bright smile always accompanied your hard work. Your mentors were impressed that once you learned the job, you started taking the initiative to start the tasks on your own. They loved that you wanted to lend a helping hand whenever you could. We wish you all the best in your next jobs at Whole Lotta Love Donuts and Wendy's. Congratulations, Sierra. Tay. So staying with the theme of smile while you work, your mentor said your beaming smile was infectious. They said you brought a positive energy to your job, you communicated well, and enjoyed staying busy. We won't be saying goodbye to you either. We look forward to seeing you around the site in your new role with La Costa. Congratulations, Tay. Damon. Your mentors commented that your biggest growth during this year came in your communication skills. It was great to see you becoming more comfortable opening up and asking questions. We were also impressed with your eagerness to always lend a helping hand to your friends. We wish you all the best in your job search and wherever that may take you. Congratulations, Damon. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, Gabe. So I have to share this funny memory from one of your mentors that made me laugh out loud. She asked if you wanted to walk around with her and check inventory and you told her flat out, no. <laughs> now, I can't say that I've never felt this way too, but Brandy turned it into a teaching moment and from that point forward, you never said no to another opportunity again. Remembering you voicing your opinion like that will always bring a smile to our face. We wish you all the best at your next job at Menards. Congratulations, Gabe. And last but not least, Melody. Melody, you were given the daunting task of restocking the color lab for the summer months when there will be no interns. And you did an excellent job completing everything asked of you and more. Your mentors love that you filled in where needed, willing to take on different jobs if other interns were absent. Your independent spirit and great sense of humor will serve you well in all your endeavors to become a hospitality aide. Congratulations, Melody. I hope you enjoyed this peek into the intern's time here at Dow. The resounding theme from the mentor's comments is that these interns worked hard and opened themselves up to personal growth and transformation. Everyone should be glowing with pride tonight. I want to leave you with my favorite quote. It is one of many wise sayings from our dear childhood friend, Dr. Seuss. To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Interns, it is your turn now to take the lessons, the skills, and the memories from your awesome teachers and mentors and apply it in your future jobs and relationships. It is your responsibility to spread what you have learned from your year at Dow to your friends and coworkers. Congratulations, graduates. Now go be the world to someone. Thank you, Jessica. Our next speaker is Nick Powell. He is the Dow site leader, and please allow me to personally thank you again for making this graduation possible. Nick has worked with Project Search in Midland, Michigan, before, before the sites of E-Town. 
Nick has opened many doors for us at Dow and has helped develop more rotations for interns. Nick is a true advocate for this program and wants each of us to succeed. Please welcome Nick Powell to speak about the program. But this wasn't in my speech, and so I'll give you guys a little bit of a lesson. Um, so if you're not going to practice your speech with your coworker, you know you don't want to follow that. <laughs> Fantastic, right? I should have went first. Because I, see, she stole about half of my speech. Yeah. Now, so, um, so as I was reflecting on this and thinking a little bit about, you know, what do I want to talk about tonight? Because, again, this is a number of years, uh, you know, that I've been doing this program in and out of different uh, geographies. And, uh, and so, first of all, I was just blown away right at the, the response. So when Jennifer told me that there was about 100 people that accepted tonight, I, I was just floored, right? As, you know, coming out of COVID and a variety of other, you know, it's a uh, socioeconomic issues, right, with just having a hard time getting here and then to see this response with the community is just fantastic. So, so just can't thank everyone enough for coming tonight. But as, again, as I was reflecting on it, you know, and thinking about um, Project Search and what it means to me, you know, I think a little bit about uh, how it takes a village, right? And so again, we, we use that uh, terminology, right, when you hear about raising children, right? And, and the old adage, again, it's, it's not necessarily the parents, but it's those around that help support it. And so if you, if you step back and you think a little bit about kind of project search and where we've come, so this is our third year um, running the program in E-Town and uh, about 7th and Dow, you know, I, I look at the people and again, we've got E-Town Independent Schools, we've got Hardin County Schools, um, we've got Brandy, Michael, uh, Jennifer, Kim, I don't know where you are, Kim, right there you are, thanks. Glad to see you tonight, great. Um, we've got our we've got our mentors right that that spend time with with our interns every day, uh, the families right. So again, we're we're looking at the families right here supporting us, and, and I'm sure I'm missing about 15 other people right and in, in other organizations that help uh, to make this successful right. But probably most important are are the students right. So again, they're the ones that have to come in every day, they have to do the hard work right. They're they're the ones that have to show up they have to learn. Um, and, and so this is a little known fact, right, that, that I'll share. Again, this is about my seventh year with the organization or with the, the program, is uh, every student, right, or intern that starts doesn't finish, right? So, I, I mean, we're, we've, we've got about a 70 or 80% uh, graduation rate. And, and so, again, the, the students, right, and the young adults that you're going to see here today, they're the ones that uh, put in the hard work, right, and, and uh, able to graduate today. So. So, I mean, that, that's really who we're here to recognize. So we can talk a lot about the, the village, right? We can talk a lot about the support structure. But at the end of the day, the, the students are the ones that show up and do the work, right? And they're the ones that, you know, deserve the accomplishment. So I'm super proud, uh, right, of, of being part of this uh, program, right, and sponsoring it um, and, and seeing where it came from. So we'll talk a little bit, I think, at the end here about what it looks like next year. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead. Melody, do you want to come on up here? Um, again, Jessica totally stole all my thunder. <laughs> so you can come on up here. I'm just going to say a few words. So a couple of words uh, from about Melody. So again, I would say Melody was my most difficult to connect with. <laughs> so those don't know, it took me about four tries to, to meet up with her. Uh, so for all the interns, again, I wanted to spend some time at the end of the uh, rotation and the end of our program to talk through kind of how it went and you know, what their favorite things were. And so uh, Melody did uh, rotations in security, right, the lab. Uh, the admin and drum off. Uh, so her favorite was admin, right? Mm -hmm. and, and again, a lot of that was uh, dealing with Jennifer and Kim, right, in the front areas. And the, the least favorite was drum off, right? And I think that was because there was a lot of work there, right? <laughs> Not that you're afraid of hard work, but that is a lot of physical work. Um, so again, her future, right, is I think uh, we had talked about is looking at a hospitality or maybe childcare. So congratulations, Melody, and uh, thank you. All right. Gabe. So, so with Gabe, one of the things that stood out, again, when I get, had a chance to interact with him, uh, was his leadership qualities. And, and what I mean by that is, uh, so uh, as I was setting up some of these uh, uh, informal discussions, right, with our uh, students or our interns, mm -hmm. one of the things that I noticed was we had asked if uh, Brandy wanted to be part of any of those, right, because maybe f people didn't feel comfortable. And in none of those did, did, Brand, did any of the students want Brandy, but we had a couple of people, and Gabe was one of them, <laughs> that sat in there with them, right, as, as kind of to help them with the communication, right, and 
and, uh, and, and again, maybe, maybe helping with the answer. And so some of the rotations that Gabe did were drum off, maintenance, admin, and security. Uh, so your favorite was security, right? And, uh, and again, uh, you know, so again, there might be an opportunity there in the future. And least favorite was logistics, right? Uh, who, do we have logistics people? Don't take that at heart. <laughs> uh, there, <laughs> there's a variety of people that have least favorite, right? And I, and I told every one of the interns, there's things I don't like doing at my job every day too that I have to. It's okay. Yeah, so, so the future, right, uh, you're working at Menards now. And uh, again, hopefully at some point, maybe we can bring you back to the site in a security role, okay? Congratulations. Thank you, Nick. Yep. Thank you. All right, uh, next will be Damon. Come on up, Damon. So uh, again, just a couple of uh, quick comments about Damon. You know, so he enjoys working hard and delivering high quality work, right? So again, that came through kind of time and time again and talking to mentors and talking to uh, again, other coworkers with that. So some of the rotations that he worked in were maintenance, drum off, security, um, your favorite was maintenance, yeah. right? And uh, least favorite, drum off. So mm -hmm. for those that are keeping score, that's two for drum off. <laughs> and again, a lot of physical work if you don't know that. That is, that is a very demanding job. But, um, so, so your future, uh, and I don't know if I got this right or not. I thought you were working at Signature Healthcare. Okay. Yep. Not anymore. Not anymore? Okay. Yeah. So, so again, but you were one of the first ones that, again, got an outside role, right, or an outside job. And so, again, I think the, the world of you, it's not going to be long if you want to get another role. So thanks, Damon. You too. Yep. All right. Yante. Mm -hmm. It took me a while to figure this out that he goes by Tay. Mm -hmm. I was like, Tay, Tay, Tay. And I'm like, who's Tay? <laughs> Tay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, so again, one of the, uh, the antidotes, right, or, you know, that as I got a chance to meet with uh, Tay, was that he enjoyed working in highly repetitive areas, right? So some of the rotations were logistics, drum off, maintenance. Uh, your favorite was drum off. So again, yeah. those keeping score, <laughs> one of the drum off, yeah. Um, least favorite was maintenance, and I thought this was very interesting. So, <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll like this, right? So he told me that he didn't like it because they only told him what the tools did. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get a chance to use them. It's a lot of standing around. A lot of standing around. <laughs> so, uh, so or not, or I shouldn't say standing around, more or less sitting yeah, and yeah, just cleaning. Yeah. 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 So, so we're going to work on that rotation next year. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, but, but uh, again, you can see that in this picture here, so Tay is now part of the, uh, the Elizabethtown team, right, and the La Costa uh, employee, right? So again, they provide our custodial services, so congratulations to Tay, yep. and thanks. Yeah. Right, Sierra. So uh, Sierra Rowan, so uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, what, I, what, I, what was great about Sierra was that she gives some very straight answers. And so here's a little bit of advice for everybody. Again, always free advice out here. Um, so I asked her, you know, what did she learn in her time here? And she said, well, you know, you need to work hard, right? And uh, can't get mad, right? And uh, don't cuss. <laughs> and, uh, and definitely don't roll your eyes. <laughs> right? I said, you know, those are fantastic. Probably over my, half of my staff needs to learn that, right? <laughs> Including this guy. Yeah, so that was fantastic. So some of the rotations, Color Lab, uh, Drum Off, Security. Uh, your favorite was Color Lab, right? Working with Emily and Laura there. And so uh, you're working a whole lot of love right now, right? And I had a note here about Mark's feed store. Are you still there? Mm. No, okay, it's a whole lot of love. Okay, <laughs> well, great. So thanks a lot, Sierra. Congratulations. All right, Kai. So Kai Smith. Um, so again, you know, I, and I only get a little bit of snippet into them, so I'm sure there's a lot more that goes into it. But I, I would, you know, as I'm thinking through this again, Kai is very shy, right? So, so when Jessica told me they figured out in the color lab how to break through, I'm a little jealous. Uh, and the second thing was you enjoyed all your roles, right? So when, when I was talking to him about maybe what are the tasks or the things that, that he didn't enjoy, I, could, I couldn't get him to tell me anything he didn't like. And so some of the rotations, again, were, were color lab, um, I, think you did, I think you did a stint in the admin, and, and again, when I, when I asked what your favorite was, it was everything, right? So um, as we were talking about the future, right, and what you've got, so again, you're working at Shoney's now, and uh, again, was one of the early adopters of getting outside employment. So congratulations, Kai. Okay, and then Chance, come on up, Chance. You know, Chance will be the last one we, we recognize tonight. Um, is our interns, but again, he took a leadership role, right? And, and one of the things that really stood out to me 
Um, so again, as I was having a lot of these end of the uh, uh, rotation or internship discussions, um, Chance took it upon himself to reorganize when he was meeting with me because one of the other interns couldn't make it. And so all of a sudden he shows up and I said, well, what are you, what are you doing here? He said, oh, you know, so-and-so couldn't make it, and so I just am going to slide into the, their spot. And I said, well, that, that's fantastic. Again, I mean, I, I, have, I have a fair amount of my staff that don't show up to talk to me, and let, uh, let alone chance. So, so some of the rotations were drum off, logistics, and admin. Um, your favorite was, was logistics, right? And uh, least favorite was, yeah, this is funny. Uh, I, I found out the mail cart is really hard to push uh, at, throughout the site, so we're going to work on improving that. But uh, if you guys didn't catch it again, uh, you know, Chance will be coming into our organization in the logistics group. And again, so that'll be a full-time role coming in and, and supporting uh, our shipping and receiving group. So congratulations, Chance. Thank you. Okay, so I've got, I got one more quick, quick comment, and then I'm going to hand it back over, I think, to Tay. Or, or Gabe, okay. Um, so, so again, as I was talking about reflecting a little bit about um, you know where the program's been and, and where we want it to go you know so I'm, I'm really excited right because if you if you look at you know the seven graduates that we've got tonight again um, you know most of them are uh, fully employed or employed right now right and, and the other two are going to be able to pick up uh, work very quickly and so um, we've got a, a partnership right that we're expanding next year with uh, Baptist Health um, I think I'm saying that right I can never get the, the organization right it, we're again, you know, so we're not just doing it at Dow anymore, right? So we're branching out in the community. And, and as I was talking a little bit about what, what does success look like, right, after the third year, we talk about building the foundation, right? So, so we're kind of year, into year three. And for those that don't know a lot about home uh, building, you know, the foundation's typically under the ground. And, and now we're about ready to put up some walls in the, in the community. And what that means is, you know, so not only are we expanding out Right with other uh, workplaces, right uh, outside of outside of Dow. Um, what what we're hearing a lot is uh, employers are coming to us to ask about our interns, right? And and to me that is success for the program, success for the students, success for the family and the community. And so I I guess I'm just going to probably end on let's give our uh, students a round of applause right now. And. Uh, it's uh, my pleasure to hand it back over to Gabe. Thank you very much, Nick, for the kind words. Mike, uh, Michael is going to introduce these two to you all. <laughs> I'd like to introduce Kathy Williamson from Goodwill Industries. She came out last week and did a two-day workshop with our guys, which was a, they learned a lot of information. A lot of it was review for them, but it was still really some good information that they will take with them. and. With that, they also get a certificate that they can use when they go out to seek employment. So. Hi, again, I'm Kathy Williamson with Goodwill Works. I had a great opportunity to, to work with these kids for two days. And so the Goodwill Works program, we have a soft skills academy. And so all of these students, except for Tay, who happened to have to work full time, <laughs> so he didn't get to come to my class, so they have all graduated. Again, I am so proud of them, and I'm hoping that these soft skills that they learned during the two days that I worked with them are things that will help them to continue not only to land their next job, but to keep their next job long term. So again, I'm going to ask you to come up again. And so, Melanie, you are first on my list. So, Melanie, you have successfully completed the following workshops. Dependability, attitude, self-presentation, conflict resolution, team building, and safety. Oh, and we practiced handshakes, so I noticed how well you did those. Okay, Chance, you're the next one. So Chance, you have successfully completed the following workshops. Dependability, attitude, self-presentation, conflict resolution, team building, and safety. I thoroughly enjoyed you as well. These guys are great. You know, I tell my class that I learn something every time I do one of these classes because there's so much 
they bring to the table, and so I thoroughly enjoy these classes. Gabe, <laughs> you're the next. So Gabe, you have successfully completed the following workshops. Dependability, attitude, self-presentation, conflict resolution, team building, and safety. Thank you. Damon? Damon, absolutely. You have successfully completed the following workshops. Dependability, attitude, self-presentation, conflict resolution, team building, and safety. Yeah. Thank you for being a part of my class. <laughs> Sierra? So Sierra, you have successfully completed the following workshops. Dependability, attitude, self-presentation, conflict resolution, team building and safety. Thank you so much. And last but not least, Kai. So Kai, you have successfully completed the following workshops. Dependability, attitude, self-presentation, conflict resolution, team building and safety. Thank you, Kai. Again, I am so honored to have an opportunity to work with these students. And this course, this uh, Soft Skills Academy, is part of the KCTCS, so it's worth one credit. So when you, go to, when you come to ECTC, be sure and, and turn it in. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Kathy. I would like to welcome Brandy Bodner and Jennifer Bowling, and I would like them to say a few words. Thank you very much. At this time, we'd like to take a moment to introduce and recognize our mentors. They spend countless hours uh, dedicating their time and expertise to the interns, and we appreciate them so much. We could not do it without them. I would like to personally thank each mentor. You've given your time and your expertise to our students. This program would not be what it is without you, and I want to thank you very much for pouring into each life. Thank you. We'd like to first call Kendall Johnson forward. Okay. All right. Emily Skaggs. <laughs> Tim Sherrard. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ike Cowherd. Charles Jewell. Kathleen Johnson, Christina Tabor, <coughs> Kim Clemens, Thank you. Thank you. Latasha Stone, okay. Tiffany Lucas, Luana Allen. I saw Luana. There she is. <laughs> Sarah Buley. <laughs> Laura Hay. Just a big round of applause for our mentors. You guys are amazing. All right, we have another important person we would like to recognize tonight. So the Dow at E-Town Project Search program began in the fall of 2018 when Sean Clinning, the former Dow site leader, contacted Rhonda Lockwood. After speaking with Sean and a quick internet search of the program, Rhonda quickly saw the value in Project Search and worked diligently to make it happen for our students. She has a passion for our students with special abilities and truly wants to see each one succeed. 
According to Tracy Goff, the special ed consultant, Rhonda looped in the key stakeholders and steering committee was formed. The rest is history. From the very beginning, Rhonda has advocated for project search by asking the tough questions, organizing, organizing and keeping track of everything that had to be dealt with. No matter what issues arose, Rhonda was always there to support us. Rhonda has truly been an inspiration to so many people. According to Jessica Taylor, Director of Special Education, Rhonda's passion and care for students has made an impact on so many students. When she connects with and invests in a student and their family, she will advocate and fight to ensure that every opportunity is available to them and they are set up for success. We would like to thank you, Rhonda, for your dedication to our program and remind you again of how you change lives. We wish you the very best as you embrace retirement. You will be missed. Would you please come forward to receive a plaque and some flowers, please? from our superintendent Terry Morgan she says she's very sorry to miss today but she would like to express how proud she is of each person that's graduating today and how she appreciates Dow for allowing this opportunity and she absolutely hates missing this so I want to make sure we announced her all right next I would like to recognize Brandy and Michael for their dedication and efforts they continually go above and beyond to help the interns and mentors. They spend countless hours ensuring that we have community awareness for the program, that the students have all the supports that are needed, and that the students find long-term competitive employment. So at this time, I'd like to present you guys with black. <laughs> <laughs> to call Chance Swanson forward for a moment, please. At this time, we would like to organize Jennifer. She is always there when we need her. She's always reliable. So we would like to say thank you, Jennifer, and present you with these flowers. Thank you, Jennifer and Brandy. Congratulations, Rhonda, on your retirement. We would like to thank each and every one of you for showing up in this graduation. <laughs> now, please stay for dinner with us. Dinner will be served, and thank you to all of you. Hello, my name is Brandi Bodner. I'm the Project Search Instructor for Hardin County Schools as well as Elizabethtown City Schools. Um, this program began three years ago and we've serviced about 19 students going through our program. The last two years have been extremely successful. We've had 10 students that are permanently employed. This current school year, two students have received full-time employment. Hi, my name is Chance Swanson. I'm a recent graduate at Central Hardin High School. At, I work as an intern at Dow, I got so many responsibilities. I've been doing projects after projects. I got offered a job at Dow. This internship has meant something for me. It has given me the experience of how to imply, how to do resumes, how to do cover letters, how to do interviews, and how to handle up work situations at Dow. We all are teams and we all work each other. Without this experience, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be at Dow. It has been making me a successful worker and a valuable team. Hi, my name is Gabriel Birich. I graduated from Central Hardin High. I started the internship last year and I think that it has been a great opportunity for me because I don't think I would be where I am right now without it. Uh, I think without it, I'd be rotting at home. <laughs> and I think that it's helped me a lot to transition into adulthood. It's also helped me kind of get a hold of my, onto things with a safe place to fall if I really did have trouble anywhere. And it's definitely helped me a lot. And I think it's been an invaluable experience 
and I would not live a life without it. I do intend to move up uh, as much as I can, and it's been really good pay, it's been a great experience. Everybody is very nice to work with, and I appreciate the opportunity. And I think that I owe a lot of that to Brandy because she's, she's been very a very good guide, and she's helped me a lot. I am very excited about my future. I think there are a lot of ways that it can go, and I think that the vast majority of them are up. I am a parent of Chance Swanson, who is with the Project Search program through Dow. His instructors, Brandy and Michael, have been fabulous instructors. You can tell that they really care about their students. If we didn't have this program, I don't know exactly where my son would be today. It's like a stepping stone. No one knows what it's like out there until you're out there and you need to experience it and you don't know what you want to do. You don't know where you want to go until you get the opportunity to sort of test the waters. So I just want to say thank you to Brandy and Michael. Thank you to Dale and thank you to Project Search. My son Kai is in the Project Search he has benefited a lot from the program. He's increased in his ability to communicate verbally. He has increased in confidence with being able to work with other people. He seems to be a lot more focused on whichever tests are given to him. You show him how to do the jobs that need to be done, and he does them exactly how you show him. He's saving up to go to college, so this way he can um, attend uh, film school. He would love to become a director. So I, I just, I wanna say thank you for the program and thank you for letting him in. My name is Angel O'Neill. Uh, my son, Deontay O'Neill, is a student at Project Search. This experience has been very great and very life-changing for him. It is forward him into adulthood. He's very mature. He's very goal-oriented now. He talks more about the future and more about goals for his adult life. It just makes me so happy to know that he is setting himself up to take care of himself and as a parent, that's your ultimate goal is to set your child up for adulthood and being able to provide for themselves. I would definitely recommend this program for you know future parents and young adults. Um, it'll definitely give your child that upper hand for adult life and for the job market. I'm Sarah Lynn with Fink Supported Living Services. We provide the skills trainer to help support the instructor and the student with Project Search. It's amazing to see the growth from the time that they start Project Search until about halfway through the school year. They gain skills, social skills, work skills that they will use in the future. It's incredible to see their growth and confidence and their drive to become a contributing member of society. Half of the students this year are ending the program already having a job. We will work over the next several months to gain and maintain skills for them for those jobs. And then also the ones that don't have jobs just yet, we will help them gain competitive employment in the community so that they are successful as well. This program has been outstanding for our community and it's wonderful for community awareness. If you know a child or you have a child who is ready to transition into the workforce and has graduated high school, please let us know by their senior year. You can contact the special education teacher or Tracy Goff who is an educational consultant or myself, Brandy Bogner. <laughs>